Hello, here we are at the Fab 12, Fab, Fab 14 <laughs> conference. <laughs> here with Jakob and Frick and Turbjörn. Uh, we have been bringing and sharing the fabricatable machine research. So, uh, Jakob here has uh, demonstrated his Fab Academy project. This is Hector. Uh, portable milling machine that can actually walk through the bed into something beneath it and then uh, Jakob has also run a workshop uh, where the participants uh, can you stop it yes um, the participants they all got uh, taught how to download the download the um, the files and to make their own rack pieces. So we have 3D printed, laser cut, CNC milled pieces. Uh, one was CNC milled on the shaper tool and another CNC milled piece was done on Hobo, the machine we brought. And another one here on Hector. And the last one 3D printed. And then we have a laser cut one but it didn't fit. So. And then here in the background you can see Turbjörn. He has made Hobo. So this is actually a full format milling machine that um, Turbian brought in, uh, in his luggage on the way here. So it's a derivation of Humphrey rolling on inline skater reels, which was not a great idea, but uh, okay. No? you have anything to say about it? Uh, no. no. <laughs> and then last we have uh, Frick Hostal, who has been showing his research on parallel process 3D printing. So you can see how he has used the, the fabricatable machine's axis to, to prototype this tower-based machine with multiple heads. So you can see there are, you can have as many towers as you want on this base axis. And uh, basically as many heads as you want working in the same area here. And Frick did a workshop where the participants got to try out being parallel processors themselves and also they got to hack into the system. So what's the biggest challenge, I think? Basically how to control and distribute the toolpaths going into the system and how you can optimize the movement of each individual extruder. Yeah. So, so Frick is doing a PhD on this, so you can follow, follow that. Yeah. And he's also developing a slicer for it, not just the hardware. But what's very exciting is then that with this machine building system, for very little money and little amount of time, Pick could build the tools he needs to do his research. So, you have any final words from Fab 14 in Toulouse? It's been lots of fun, lots of exciting workshops, and very many engaged people we hope will share issues and start making the machines themselves. I think it's important that you realize that this is like not a secret club. No, anybody are welcome to do whatever they want with these files and also share back new ideas, improvements. If you don't understand how to use the files, then, then use the issues page, the forum on GitHub. And please share back if you if you make something with this. No? Let, let us know. It's super fun to hear. We found several people who made machines. Anything to add, Turbjörn? Uh, I think it was a great experience to meet a lot of new people and to gain insight in what Fab 14 is, the entire Fab Lab community.